Welcome and good morning to another edition of the Friday Morning Commute. This is your host, Robin Doug. Let's go ahead and get started this beautiful, beautiful Friday morning. As always, we go ahead and start with our resident Zurio's seller, Zur, Agent of the Nine, from the planet Jupiter and its nine Galilean moons. Actually, there's four Galilean moons. But I think there's about nine or plus moons around Jupiter. It's got a very large moon system. In any case, let's go go ahead and look at his wares. For the Titan, we have the Tycoonaut helmet, which is a great helmet. I believe it adds tracking to heavy weapons, heavy weapon rocket launchers. It's a lot of fun. We have the Young Ahamkara spine for the hunters. We have the Starfire protocol chest piece for Warlocks, super good advice for everyone. Wonderful art machine gun, pick it up. And then the exotic, legacy exotic engram this week is for special weapons. So if you're missing any exotic special weapons from year one or Destiny Vanilla, get this. Go ahead and decrypt it. It will drop a legacy exotic weapon that is weighted towards ones that you do not have. So Feel free to pick it up, enjoy it, all that fun jazz. It'll be a lot of fun. But do remember, by getting a legacy exotic engram, you will not get a year two equivalent of that exotic unless you happen to decrypt an exotic that has a year two equivalent that you can go purchase. So like, if you decrypt a icebreaker, you're not gonna get a year two icebreaker. You'll just get the year one. However, if you decrypt a plan C, year one, then you can go to your exotic weapon kiosk and purchase a year two plan C exotic fusion rifle. Now with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and switch on over to uh, this week at Bungie. Some exciting things are coming up. So we are less than, I would say, right at or less than four Fridays to Destiny Rise of Iron and its release on September 20th. We have the next live stream reveal of, or of Rise of Iron content at Gamescom in Germany. Bungie is sending a delegation of employees over to field questions, give interviews, record uh, what destiny means to several people and this will ha be happening on the 16th maybe sounds about right now along with this next week we have iron banner coming up Whew, sorry and it's just strict strictly clashed iron banner 6v6 kill demands now the weapons are hand cannons and shotguns I know are two of the weapons and then of course the armor looks sick as always oh so beautiful now this is the last iron banner before rise of iron so this is also the first iron banner after the console split so what that means if you are an Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 user, and you have Taken King, and you're working on your year two moments of triumph, you need to get those done this week. Otherwise, if you are not unable to complete them this week, like I'm not going to be able to complete them on my 360, I'm just going to have to get, be forced to finish them on my Xbox One, then you will have to import your account to an Xbox One PlayStation 4. Essentially remove it from the console branch that you're on in order to redeem your Moments of Triumph code and complete your Moments of Triumph and get the discount code for your t-shirt. So with that being said, hopefully all you're missing is the Golgoroth Challenge Fragment, which is the only raid fragment that I'm missing. I'm missing several other fragments, but that's the only raid one on the Xbox family. So Hopefully you'll get it done. If not, you really should look at getting a new console. I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're gonna be saying. 
But Doug, Doug, those are like $300. Yes, they're $300, but you're also two to three years into, almost three years into this current console generation. We're already seeing a turnover of consoles being uh, upgraded. So you're going to find a really good deal on the one terabyte Xbox Ones, the 500 gigabyte Xbox Ones, the 500 gigabyte PlayStation 4. And to be honest, the PlayStation 4 is you should be able to actually upgrade the hard drive if you look online for the right guide. So with all that being said, if you can, do upgrade. If you can't and you don't mind uh, you know, Taken King being your last hurrah, you can complete it, import it into a, another console. I'm not sure if that prevents you from going back to your last generation console and playing it or not. It'd be interesting to find out. So, there you go. Now, along with that, we still have plenty of news of Rise of Iron coming at us from Game Informer. They have content all this month that is being released for us to peruse, ingest, mull over. And I'm kind of taking the sense that I did with the Taken King, and I'm not really looking at it. Now, I know what you're saying, you're like, but Doug, you're, you're the information guy. You're the guy who should be telling us this. Like, and I agree. I want to. I really do. But there's an element of surprise that comes with these games. Now, I don't mind reading this article after Rise of Iron has dropped, because that's the only way that I'll be caught up. However, the suspense for me is really what I'm interested in. Trying to find out and thinking in my mind, what all are we going to see? You know, we have SIVA, which is this golden age virus that has been unlocked from its quarantined golden age vault and the fallen house of devils the subsect the splicers have decided to manipulate this virus use it on themselves and start infecting the land around it so it's going to be very interesting to see how the world changes and that's one thing that you know going past rise of iron to destiny 2 as a whole i want to see and I know several others who want to see, but it would be very disheartening to boot up Destiny 2, you know, a year from now, two years from now. It's not going to be two years from now, it's coming out 2017. That or we'll riot. But a year from now, when we, on, on launch day, we get it, we open it, we start playing, and the world is the exact same. We see no change in the game world based on the events of Destiny, The Dark Below, House of Wolves, Taken King, and Rise of Iron. Now, with this being said, since we're, we're, we've already essentially established that we're dropping support for last generation consoles, there's going to be more leeway and wiggle room for change and better change you know better fps better uh, graphics engine well the graphics are actually pretty good i really do like the graphics um but you know larger environments changed world layouts Maybe we'll see some more debris on Mars from the Awoken attack on the Dreadnought. Maybe we'll fi actually be able to see what's behind the door in the Reef. That's one that I'm, I'm really curious 
you know, because, you know, Lord Saladin comes and we have Iron Banner back behind the, that wall and the tower. But we never see him to the Queen's throne room, except for the one cutscene. <sighs> now, all of that aside, Moments of Triumph right now is the current grind. And I'm. I know tons of people who are like, you're still working on that? I was done day one. I'm like, good for you. I have a life. <laughs> and that's not entirely true, but I do have, I have had other responsibilities that have prevented me from working on the Moments of Triumph grind like I have wanted to. So I actually am at the point where, on my Xbox at least, that I can get my uh, exotic sword, the last quest. Go defeat uh, Alakul and the Warden to seal the, your, the edge of your blade. So that, that makes me really excited. Very, very, very excited. Now, on my PlayStation, I still have a good ways to go. And thankfully, I have friends on both consoles, so my, my overarching goal is to complete my moments of triumph and then to spend $70 to get two shirts that have my Twitch name and my associated gamer tag name between the two of them. Yeah, my wife's gonna kill me, but it's for a t-shirt. Now, with all of this being said, said and done, we did have a couple of distractions come out this week. And I, I want to take time to talk about it because I think this is going to be the game that you'll find several people playing until Rise of Iron drops. Because if you're done with your Destiny grind, you need a vacation. You just need a little bit of time, calm down, relax, you know, take your mind off of it so that when Rise of Iron drops, you're ready. It's new, it's fresh. You know, you might do some uh, faction edging maybe build up some engrams, but that's going to be about it. And that game is No Man's Sky. Now, if you haven't heard, No Man's Sky is the space exploration sim from Hello Games. It was originally slated for release in June and was pushed until July 9th this past week. And the concept is, is very simple. You start the game, crash landed on a planet. All you're equipped with is a bolt cap, is, a, is a, pretty much just a mining laser, a multi-tool. And that multi-tool, with that multi-tool, you have to search the environment around you, mine materials in order to fix your ship. And once you can fix your ship and get the, the required pieces fixed, then you can go to orbit, start exploring space. Now there is some undertone, some story that's very important to the game, but it's not what you're, the only thing you're meant to do. Think of it, Minecraft in space without being able to build stuff or build buildings. But hopefully that will be coming in a future update. That's one thing that I'm very excited about this game is to see how the developers continue to improve upon it. Now, at some point there's going to be a state where people explore for X amount of time and they get bored. And it's okay. That happens with all games. But until that point in time, space is the final frontier. Now, I'm at the office. Unfortunately, I have to get off. I know. I'm sad. Always sad ending these, but I like the time block. It's very nice. So, once again, I'll go over what Zur is selling for us this week. We have the Taekwondoot helmet for Titans. We have the Young Ahamkara spine for Hunters. Starfire Protocol chest piece for Warlocks. Super good advice for everyone. And the Legacy Ingram this week is for Special Weapons. Remember, if you get a Legacy Exotic Special Weapon Ingram, it's only going to drop year one special weapons that you do not already have an exotic for 
and then if you have all the exotics then it's going to be a random one so hope you guys have a great time i hope you guys enjoy your weekend get hyped for iron banner it's the last iron banner before rise of iron starts on the 16th goes through reset hope everyone has a wonderful time and i will check y'all later if i can get my screen there we go yeah see you later guardians bye